Hey then, welcome to After Work. My name is Valentine and in this channel we talk about various data science topics that are important when you're starting out your data science career. If such topics interest you, be sure to subscribe to this channel. So today we're going to be talking about becoming a data scientist within the agricultural sector and we are going to be talking about the different types of questions that you might end up working on um, if you are going to be working as um, a data scientist within this industry. We're also going to be talking about areas of application within the agricultural industry. We're also going to be talking about skills that you should acquire if you do hope to become um, a data scientist in this, within this industry. And also towards the very end, talk about a few roles that you might end up undertaking um, if you do decide to transition into this industry. All right, so let's get started. So as an agricultural data scientist, the main objective that you'll be having in most of your projects would be to help agricultural stakeholders make data-informed decisions. Some of these agricultural stakeholders might be farmers, um, it could be farm managers, they could be companies or organizations involved in farming or even in livestock activities could be indirect stakeholders such as banks which would provide loans to some of these stakeholders or it could be even government institutions that would um, provide possibly um, incentives or even create policies that would um, um, affect the activities of some of these stakeholders. When it comes to the types of questions that you're going to be answering, um, there are many different types of questions that would um, 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 come your way. Some of the questions might be what corrective interventions should be deployed um, in order to optimize farming or livestock activities. You're also going to be answering questions related to um, farm yield predictions or, or, or basically um, livestock um, um, predictions so that you're able to identify risks um, pertaining to those activities and as a result cost effective decisions can be undertaken. You might also end up answering infrastructural questions. So something like how can organizations collect high quality data through possibly sensors or IoT, which is Internet of Things. Um, in other cases, you might end up answering questions related to customer behavior trends, like are the customers um, consuming products that are packaged or modified or raw and that would help inform the kinds of products that would end up being produced by the various stakeholders and also get basically understanding you know what would be the demand for maybe certain products within a particular point of the year and that would also affect supply um, that regards in some other cases you would take the research lenses and perform a b testing or hypothesis testing um, in order to understand how possibly new um, farming or livestock products will perform in the market so basically those are some of the questions there are many questions which you get to answer but um, i hope those different types of questions that we've mentioned do give you a clear idea of the kinds of um, um, work that you're going to be um, undertaking as an agricultural data scientist. When it comes to areas of application, you're going to be working on different kinds of areas. Um, you might end up understanding farm produce markets or understanding how the products that are coming from farms are um, being consumed within the market. You might end up undertaking work related to optimizing of the supply chain through just or studying operational data. You might also end up undertaking work related to managing um, crop or livestock diseases. Um, you could even undertake work related to weather patterns, um, um, identifying those weather patterns in order to cope with the implications of climate change. You could also end up undertaking work related to farm yield prediction, so studying crop data um, such as soil, water and minerals and the outcome of that, the insights you're going to be getting will help inform the kinds of interventions that would be taken when it comes to the um, um, farm products or different livestock um, um, that are related to the kind of activity that, that happens within the context that you're working in. 
So that's it with regards to areas of application. When it comes to the skills required, there are different kinds of skills that you're going to be required to have as an agricultural data scientist. And um, the first skill would be to um, um, be able to perform business understanding. So most of the time, you, most of the times you're going to be working with closely with agricultural experts to define the fundamental question that you're going to be answering in your data science project. The second skill that you're going to be required to have is data collection and exploration. So being able to work with this technology like SQL or even a programming language such as Python or R um, that would be helpful in data exploration. In addition to those tools, you're also going to need to learn how to work with GIS, which is a software that is normally used for the um, storage of geographical data, as well as managing and analyzing and visualizing of that data. So knowing how to work, work with GIS would be also um, an important um, 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 part of, of data collection and exploration. The third skill, data analysis and visualization, so also being able to work still with Python and um, R for the, that particular purpose, and as well as Power BI and Tableau um, with regards to data visualization. Still with GIS for data visualization would be also a critical skill. When it comes to answering business problems, the fourth skill that you're going to be required to learn um, is data modeling, so having knowledge of machine learning, um, or deep learning libraries, how to work with them, such as sklearn um, with regards to um, Python or PyTorch, um, etc. The final skill would be data presentation, so be proficient in communication skills when it comes to communicating some of the insights that you'll have gotten from your analysis. Some of the roles that you might undertake as a data scientist within the agricultural um, industry might involve um, you working as a data scientist, so working on a um, wide range of data science projects related to maybe hypothesis testing, predictive analysis, um, um, or basically even um, research. You could also end up um, undertaking um, predictive analytics projects, and that means you end up becoming a machine learning engineer. You could also become an automation data scientist where your work might primarily um, involve automating some of the data um, um, aspects within the organization. You could end up becoming a senior data scientist, managing teams of um, um, data scientists or data analysts. You could also become a senior data analyst um, or data analyst, working on projects related to data analysis and visualization. Or you could even end up becoming a research data scientist, so working towards just um, a lot of research projects and being able to help organizations um, um, be informed when it comes to the creation of or development of new products. All right, so that's it with regards to becoming a data scientist within the agricultural sector. We've provided some um, further resources in the description section below for your further reading. Maybe if you're interested in doing a few more um, 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 in-depth readings, um, um, be sure to find those readings in the chat. And if you'd like to um, be informed when we post such videos, be sure to um, subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up and see you in the next video.